Okay, it's Henry again, and a lot of people have noticed that I've uh, deleted my old decal tutorial video. Um, that's because I wanted to go back and redo my decal tutorial because I felt like there was some stuff that I could have explained better and some additional information I could have put in. So I'm actually going to upload uh, tutorials based on each type of decal individually. Stickers, dry transfers, and water slides. And this is the dry transfer decal tutorial. Alright, so dry transfer decals are uh, kind of funny. A, a lot of people when they first see them and they've never uh, seen them before they don't really know what to, to do with them. Uh, they are characteristic because they come on a sheet of clear plastic like this. They usually have a little paper backing like so. And the front side will be very shiny and the decals are actually on the back side so you can see it's got a very matte finish and if you get close enough, not sure if it's going to show up on my camera or not but uh, you can kind of, uh, nah. I don't know if it's going to show up on the camera but you can definitely see when you get up close enough and look at it that the decals are on this side of the clear film so the way that we're going to be applying these is we're going to cut out each decal individually you know, small pair of scissors or you could also use a hobby knife if you want to and we're going to cut these out and we're going to use some scotch tape uh, you can use masking tape but I find that scotch tape is a lot easier since it's clear because the tape is actually going to go on top of the decal and uh, then we are going to use a tool to rub the decal down. Uh, you can use a mechanical pencil with the uh, lead retracted. That usually works pretty well. You can use the dull end of a hobby knife. Uh, I've actually got a little metal tool that I got in a uh, biology uh, kit. It's literally just a uh, metal rod with a little bent end on it and this is what I use for applying dry transfer decals. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the decal I want to use is this very top one right here. So I'm just going to cut this out. Cut the scissors just like that. And you want to try to make sure that you have clean hands while you're doing this because uh, Sometimes if you touch the dry transfer decals, uh, you'll find out that, oh, the decal is now stuck to my finger. And you don't want that to happen because then the decals are ruined. So just make sure you're doing this with clean hands. Uh, you could even use uh, like nylon gloves if you wanted to. So I'm going to be putting this part on the wing. And let's see. Instructions say it should go right here. So I'm just going to sort of place it right there, zoom in a bit. Then that's where the scotch tape comes in. This, all it's going to do is just hold the decal in place so that when rubbing it, it's not moving around everywhere. And uh, I know what you're thinking, oh my god, is this tape going to uh, rip up the paint job? Well, if you've properly used primer and a good quality paint you shouldn't have to worry too much about it um, obviously do a test on your parts beforehand with the scotch tape to make sure that the tape isn't gonna tear the paint off because you wouldn't want to apply the decal and then have the paint ripped off and then you've lost the paint job and the decal so that would be bad but uh, just remember to test before you actually start with the decals so now it's in place with the tape quite simply just gonna take my little tool like I said earlier you can use a, uh, a blunt pencil or uh, the back side of a hobby knife anything that is uh, just a dull firm object you can use and it's not showing up on camera but when you're actually looking at it you can kinda tell a difference 
like the decal will have a different sheen to it when it's actually transferred onto the part and it doesn't take a lot of pressure I'm not using a ton of pressure pushing down on this just enough to get it down there all right looks like it is on and now I'm just going to take this tape carefully lift up and this is a part where you'll want to do this uh, very carefully because sometimes you'll notice that the uh, the dry transfer de decal doesn't completely transfer see I've got one time one letter the M on mobile suit <laughs> didn't transfer so I'm just gonna rub that down again okay now we're good I'm gonna continue peeling that off and there we go now we have a very nicely transferred dry decal and this will also work on bare plastic it doesn't have to be on a painted kit and uh, like I said it just it's really not that hard it's just uh, confusing because a lot of people don't really know what to do with it the first time they see it but they're actually not that bad and personally I think they look even better than water slides uh, they're a bit more time consuming because you have to have the tape and the rubbing and all that stuff but uh, they they do look really really good because they don't have any edge to them at all like stickers obviously have a thick edge because they're printed on like that clear plastic uh, water slides even have a little bit of an edge to them because of the decal film that they're printed on but dry transfer decals don't have any edge at all they're just uh, it's literally just printing that you're rubbing onto the kit so they look very very good so uh, that's pretty much it. Um, after this you'll want to do a nice top coat so that your decals are protected and uh, at this point you are done. So all you got to do is apply the rest of your dry transfer decals and you're good to go. Most master grades have these. Uh, so if you are uh, getting into master grade gunplay kits uh, these are definitely something you're going to experience. A lot of high grades do not have them. Uh, a lot of perfect grades do not have them. As far as Bandai Gundam kits go, they're almost exclusive to Master Grades, so that's where you're going to see them the most. So that does it for this little tutorial video, and with that, I'll see you guys next time.